Hello and welcome to this review of my Poppet keyboard. I bought this keyboard off of Ball.com for the princely sum of $12.65, which turned out to be a big disappointment for the quality of the product, and I've had difficulty getting this to actually work with my computer at all, to the point where I wasn't able to do my customary week of testing this keyboard in use, but more on that later. First, let's talk about the switches. These are of an unknown but very poor design, and right out of the box almost none of the switches worked properly, so the company that makes this must have extremely bad quality control standards. They appear to be some sort of rubber dome model, but they don't reset after pressing it down, they stay down and you have to manually unbuckle the domes afterwards, like that. Only a few of the bigger keys, like the space bar and the arrow key cluster, which actually works more like a d-pad actually pop back up so this is a big oversight on the part of the manufacturer admittedly the switches have a strong quite satisfying tactile event and even though it's obviously not clicky you occasionally get an interesting pop sound from it which is not unpleasant a surprising amount of bass from a build this light and flimsy too I'm also a bit at a loss as to how this keyboard actually works because there appears to be no discernible sensing assembly present and although the keyboard is wireless I haven't been able to connect to it over Bluetooth and I haven't found a charging port on this anywhere either so maybe it's out of battery charge by now. Again I can't really tell whether it's been designed so elegantly that I can't figure out how it works or whether it's been designed so badly that it's barely functional out of the box. It's a 60% form factor and the build quality is quite appalling. The keyboard is basically just a rubber dome mat itself and it has no case or even a chassis really. It's entirely made out of a rubbery plastic and it's extremely floppy. I mean, look at the amount of flex on this thing. Frankly, it's embarrassing weighing in at 127 grams, which is heavily below par for a 60% keyboard. To make this more relatable for my imperial viewers, this 1959.9 91 grains, or about the same as 2 and 3 quarters 50 cal bullets, you know, 0.50 BMG standard home defense grade. It doesn't have any keycaps, you just type directly on the rubber domes. I guess that's done to save money, but that does mean that you can't put any custom keycaps on it, and in an age where enthusiasts typically care more about the keycaps on their boards than the switches they type on, this seems like a strange decision to be honest, and I think they might have difficulty pitching this to a wide market. I like the tactile feel though. It comes with RGB as you can see, but it's static only and each row is limited to only a single colour which isn't very good. It also doesn't light up in the dark, but let's be honest no one really uses RGB to see in the dark anyway. I do like the pattern though, it's very merry, fits in with a lot of my summer clothes. Overall, I don't really think this is the keyboard for me. I mean, 60% form factors are just so limiting, it's like half your keyboard is missing, and the part that's actually present doesn't work anyway. So maybe I should just stick to toying with the switches. That's it for this review. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and following is a typing demonstration of me typing on this keyboard.